late summer, water detecting, and got 119 rings. Beat my record by 83 from May 16th to September 6th. Got 119 rings. I don't know what my year to count was. I never haven't added up all the, the rings for the entire year that I've done so far. But along with all those treasures that you saw in all my videos this past summer, uh, I always like to show you the trash. But now I have put all the trash out, and I want to show you how much trash that I dug from May 16th to September 6th. Check this out. Check that out. There's all the trash. So we can get a full shot of all that. That's an eight foot table. And so here we go. We got all these aluminum cans. I could have dug so much more of that. All this aluminum foil and things of that nature. Tons of bottle caps or aluminum caps. There's probably 500 bottle caps right there. This is all the different um, pull tabs, beaver tails and square tails, probably a thousand or more right there. Bobby pins, that's all the miscellaneous stuff. Tools, glasses. This is all hair stuff. This is all just iron and wire and screws and nails and washers and all types of stuff. A couple of shovels, CO2 cartridges, a flashlight, a couple of uh, old, old cell phones and batteries. A lot of batteries. Check out these batteries. Here's all the vape pens that all the people are just smoking and just throwing down in the water. They ring up good like in the 80s on AT Pro. A hemostat. Different things there. Uh, silverware. Lighter. Different bullets. Sex toys. Fingernails. Uh, dog collars. You got fishing nets. These are tons and tons of fishing lures. But this is this is all. All of this is out of the swim area. This is not the beach. This is not on the outside of the beach. This is just in the water, in the swim areas, in the lakes that I have detected this summer. Check out all these fishing weights. I'm gonna go scrap that. I'm probably get a lot of money for that lead. All the different goggles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I gave some away. Hat, frisbees, here's a shoe and toys. So quite a bit of trash. And the good thing is we clean the lakes up. That's why I always like to show this video at the end. And if I ever go to a lake and they say, no, you can't metal detect that, I always like to pull this video up on my phone and show the rangers or the park attendants or whatever and just show them that, hey, look at environmentally, look at what we're doing. We're cleaning up some of the best uh, the beaches out there. Where these, This is what people are walking on and swimming on, standing on. And some of the nastiest waters in all of Texas is state parks because they not, do not allow us to detect in there. So if this is just one summer, Imagine what a state park that never allows how much stuff is in there. I wouldn't swim in a state park for nothing. But uh, hopefully we can get in there one day and clean up. So this is the good thing about our hobby. We get to clean up the environment a little bit and take it out. But I want to remind everybody, hey, this is all of our lakes. We swim in these things and uh, we, we love the beauty of them. So if you go in the lake and you dig stuff, make sure you take it out. If you're in there swimming, don't stuff, throw stuff on the bottom. Take it out too. Pick up stuff as you're going out you see on the ground. Just kind of help the world out a little bit and clean up. Amen? That's what I'm all about. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little video. It's just showing you everything that I dug. That's the trash. You got to dig all of that to get all the treasures. And so like I always say, hey, the greatest treasure isn't what you can dig out of a lake or on the fields or anywhere else. The greatest treasure what you can find up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.